Hey guys, the Peddler back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at carbon rims versus aluminum rims and what's the truth? Is it worth your money? Is it worth the upgrade? And what's the overall differences? Is it just for marketing? And just really get down to, you know, just the facts and uh, I'll give you guys my own writing experience on both type of materials. So let's get right into this video. Before I continue, I'd ask you guys to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with me putting out more content and the overall growth of the channel. So if you can do that, it'd be much appreciated. So what I have right now in my hands are both a carbon rim and aluminum rim, but these are specifically for rim brakes. But um, this video also applies to disc brakes. I have disc brakes on my gravel slash cyclocross bike. That's a carbon disc brake wheel set. And I've also ridden on my previous cross slash gravel bike, I've had aluminum disc brake rims. So, you know, I'm very well versed in uh, both, you know, rim and disc and also with both uh, materials in terms of wheel set, so carbon and aluminum. The first thing you'll notice between an aluminum rim and a carbon rim is that aesthetically it looks different. That still applies also on disc brake bikes because aluminum rims can't be that deep. So, uh, you know, carbon rims are usually known for being very deep and very aero looking. So overall, the aluminum rim is very shallow most of the time, even on disc and rim. And that's just because of, you know, the constraints uh, for, you know, making it as light as possible. Because if you made this any more aerodynamic, it would just be a lot heavier. The reason why aluminum rims come stock on majority of all beginner bikes or level entry bikes is because it's cheap and it's a lot less expensive to manufacture when compared to carbon rims. The average price of your typical aluminum rim is about $100 to $700, which makes it perfect for people that are on a budget or just looking to get the best bang for their buck. The weight penalty on the average aluminum rim compared to the carbon is around 300 to 500 grams. I wouldn't say that's you know, very significant, but it really depends on what needs you need when it comes to a wheel set, and we will talk about that later, but it's something not to be too concerned about. A quick note to remember is that if you're still riding a rim brake bike currently or plan on purchasing one, an aluminum rim has better braking surface, especially in the wet. And I have an experience I like to share quickly is that when I was in a race and I had carbon rims, uh, it was pouring. And when I was actually trying to brake, it gripped nothing. So I basically didn't have any brakes. So in those situations, you know, when it's the weather is very bad, aluminum is the way to go. In disc brake bikes where the braking surface actually doesn't matter because you have a disc that's actually causing the bike to slow down, you know, if you have a carbon rim or an aluminum rim, they're gonna perform the same in dry and wet. So that's something nice that, you know, even if you do get an aluminum rim, that's disc brake in specific, you can still ride in the wet and not have to worry. But, you know, if you do have a rim brake bike currently like I do, that in aluminum would be, you know, a lot better for uh, wet conditions when compared to carbon rims. So I'll give you guys my quick input on the aluminum rim in general, disc brake and rim brake. I think it's a very good uh, option, especially if you are on a budget. You know, it is a little bit heavy, but that's why usually this tire is gonna be either your all around tire or your training tire in specific. Uh, we're gonna talk about the benefits of a carbon rim and you know, just to give you guys a quick heads up, that's primarily if you're very into racing or plan on getting into racing or you know, doing a lot of events where time and you know, getting the most out of your equipment really matters. But let's say for the average cyclist, you know, for the everyday cyclist or even the weekend warrior or just someone that wants to train and do it for fitness or for weight loss, the aluminum rim is the way to go just because it's robust it's reliable, you know, it's cheap. So if you know, if you break a spoke or if you actually warp the wheel for whatever reason, I've seen my fair share of everything, you know, it's very easy to get a replacement and you're not gonna be, you know, struggling to uh, finance uh, the purchase. Just like, you know, a lot of times in a lot of horror stories where I've heard of people, you know, having bad experiences or just over a long time of use with carbon rims, it, it costs a lot of money to replace. So aluminum rims are just a lot more economical since they can take a beating and since they're not that expensive, you, if you, like I said, have to eventually replace it, it's not that big a deal and you don't really have to plan it. You know, if it's bad weather, you can still go out. Well. If it's rough terrain or just not the best uh, terrain, like sometimes I've been on paved roads that still have loose gravel on the sides. So you don't really have to worry about specifically maintaining your wheels just like you would in a carbon because obviously you don't want to damage them so just overall aluminum in my opinion is just a lot you know easier and less stress uh when riding that you don't have to worry about 
These are aluminum tubeless ready rims. So as soon as the weather gets better, I'm gonna be riding them and testing them and making a video on how they perform. This is my unbranded carbon rim that I got from an old teammate and rode about two seasons on and had no problems whatsoever. They're still going strong, so that's why I plan on using them for this season. But they, these were my go-to everyday rims just because I didn't have an aluminum training rims at the time. So, you know, I rode this every day and never had problems with it. The first benefit of running carbon rims instead of aluminum rims is that you're saving about 300 to 500 grams, which can be quite significant if you get into racing or you're trying to save as much time as you can because you're doing a lot of climbing or just a lot of fast riding. The average time savings that you save when you run a carbon wheel set is about 20 to 30 seconds, which might not be the most important thing if you are the average rider or just the you know, occasional weekend warrior. But if you are into racing, those 20, 30 seconds can make a big difference in a breakaway or just staying with a fast bunch. As mentioned before, this is a 50 millimeter deep carbon rim. Uh, it's in between, you know, very aero and very, you know, climbing specific. So it's the best of both worlds. So it slices through the air, but it's not going to be so deep that you're going to get, you know, blown around during uh, crosswinds. And it's not super light when you can fly up hills. So it's the sweet spot in between both. And that's what I really liked about these rims was that for the type of riding that I do, which is rolling flats, you know, I got some fast group rides, some crits some road races, you know, a bunch of everything. They really held up in the past and they're still going strong. So, you know, with carbon rims though, it really depends on how light or how deep because the lighter uh, it is, the less deep it will be. So that would be like your climbing wheel set. So like I said before, you're saving on weight because you can't make an aluminum rim that light. Like carbon is still a lighter material. However, for, you know, aero in specific, you're trying to save some time and be a lot more aerodynamic. You know, a carbon rim, once you start going on to 60, 70 and whatnot, aero is all about slicing through the air and that's gonna be from deep section carbon rims. As mentioned with the aluminum rims, this only applies for rim brake uh, wheel sets is that carbon in the wet is terrible. I had experiences in the past, as I mentioned before, I don't recommend it. So that's one thing to remember. So the elephant in the room is the price of carbon rims. They usually retail from 700 all the way to 2000, which can be a hefty fee, especially if you are on a budget. So, you know, it's quite expensive to actually get your hands on one of these. And it's just one thing that you really have to decide. Also on the topic of price, I'd just like to say two things. This applies to rim brakes and also disc brakes. Is that on a rim brake uh, carbon wheel set, once this wears, which is the braking surface, the wheel's done, you'll have to upgrade it. The nice thing with carbon uh, on disc brake bikes is that even there's no longer uh, a braking surface on the actual material because now all the braking is done on the disc. So you don't have to, you know, chuck the whole wheel set because there's nothing that's been worn. The only thing that's been worn is the disc. So that makes it a good investment. However, one thing I'd like to note is that, you know, once even spokes break, or let's say you get a chip, like there's lots of things that can happen. So chipping is one thing that I've seen, or, you know, sp uh, spokes breaking and all that wear and tear on carbon rims, you know, eventually you will have to, replace so you know that can be quite expensive because if you just dropped you know two thousand dollars on a carbon wheel set and for whatever reason you have some bad luck and get a pretty bad chip in it you know that's your fault and you're gonna have to replace it so that's just something to be conscious of we've already talked about the visual differences between carbon and aluminum it really depends on what you like because the pro pelotons and what you're probably used to with seeing blinged bikes carbon is you know more aesthetically pleasing but at the end of the day it really depends on what you like on your bike and everyone has their own personal opinion. I've met people that actually like, you know, what aluminum rims look like when compared to carbon uh, wheel sets. So it really depends on your personal uh, taste. So I'll give you guys my final thoughts for the average rider, the everyday person that's riding for fitness, weight loss, enjoyment. I would stick with the aluminum rim. It's a lot more robust. So you don't have to worry, you know, about how you treat or how you ride. You know, if you see some, you know, loose, loose gravel, you don't really have to get too worried. It can take a good beating. If you do have to replace it eventually, it's not gonna be that expensive because it is aluminum. However, I would say for the carbon rim, you know, unless you really get into racing and start, you know, actually stay, sticking with racing and progressing through the ranks and you still wanna get the optimal 
most out of your equipment, then a carbon wheel set is the way to go. Saving 20, 30 seconds, it will make you faster. You will see the difference because I have, but like I said, it really depends on what your needs are. I would say for the normal person, just stick with aluminum and for the racer or someone that's getting into racing and wants a good long-term investment that they'll actually use and benefit from, then invest in the carbon rim. What I think I'm gonna do this season is train with my aluminum rims and race on my carbon rims. I have never done that in the past because I've never had two wheel sets. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how that goes and put me in more in a frame of mindset of when I put these wheels on, it's uh, game time. And this one is just for training and really getting the most out of my training. So if you guys did enjoy this video and learned something, please smash the like button. Like I said previously, it really helps with the video and the overall growth and with me putting out content. Um, comment what your thoughts are, what you guys run on your bike, what wheel sets do you like to use, drop the names, uh, get a conversation going. I always love to see engagement in the comment section. And until the next video, keep on pedaling.